How's it going YouTube? Pokequan here and today we're going to be opening up this um, Mewtwo and Mew uh, GX10 and before we get to that um, just have a little bit of uh, cards that I bought here. I bought some off of Mercury, Macari, however you guys want to pronounce it, and eBay. Um, I did open up this one uh, so I do know what's in here um, but I do have uh, quite a bit of Shadowless cards, about a few. So we're gonna go into this one first, and then we'll get into that. We'll get into this first, uh, the cards that I bought. Then we'll move on over to the Mewtwo and the Mew uh, 10. So, these all came in sleeves, which this person did uh, decent at packaging them. Um, so far from what I saw from these, um, I think the best one um, was probably this Metapod. As far as uh, whitening and whatnot, th this is probably the best one. So there's that. We have one Shadowless here. And then we have another Shadowless Kakuna with the error of the uh, Link Length error. Um, this one had a little bit of whitening. Let's see, we got some at the top. Um, but yeah, these cards are all starting to go up. That Squirtle that I showed you guys, I think I looked it up. And I believe a PSA 8 was like 50 bucks for that card alone. This one had a little bit of whitening, but not overall not too, too bad. Um... These next ones, however, I have not seen them all. See, they're all sealed. I don't know what kind of um, wrapping this person did, but hey, you know, what? whatever works. As long as the cards get here safe, I could care less how they come. Um, this one, I'm going to have to use some scissors to get into this one because it's pretty sealed up tight. Hopefully, I don't cut my stuff. I'd be pretty upset if I did. Okay, I didn't cut into anything, so that's good. All right, so let's get into this one. These are some more shadowless cards that I purchased. Um, I'm sure you guys can already know where I'm going with this um, right now. Uh, I think I was trying to buy I didn't think I was going to get it, but I was trying to buy a Pikachu. Oh, come on. Jeez. This guy, like, packed this stuff in tight. Um, I was going to buy a Shadowless Pikachu, but I was only going to pay 100 bucks for it at the most. Um, and then not even, like, 20... Th oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay, there we go. But, yeah. Um, I don't know what this is. This Part of the weather thing? Oh, I guess he just sent it in a... Looks like a... Just paper. I don't know what else he has in here. Looks like there's words written there. Oh no, that's just me. My bad. Yeah, um, like, not even like 20, 30 seconds, uh, I mean 30 minutes later, 20, 30 minutes later, um, I put the bet all the way up to 100, just to be on the safe side. And, um, the, it jumped up to like two to three hundred that fast. And I did the same thing with Charmander. Did the same thing with Charmander. Did the same thing with Bulbasaur, all that good stuff. I believe these were regular Shadowless cards. Jeez, man, what kind of packing job did you do? I don't know this person at all. Never talked to this person, and yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Hopefully, I don't mess them up. Okay. All right. So, um, but yeah, they jump. They jumped up quick in price, like bad. Um, I believe these. However, I think I paid about ten for all of them. I believe. Um, I'll try to take a snapshot and then post it in, but. Yeah, I don't know what the, dude, what the heck, I've never seen anything like this before, this is weird, oh, okay, I see what he did, 
Okay. It's not too bad, but kind of weird. Kind of weird a packing job. All good. As long as it gets here, right? That's all that matters. None of these are sleeved, so I have to be careful with these. I think one of them, I forgot, I don't know which one it was, but one of them. Oh, this is the, I believe this is the one with the diglets. Let me check these out right quick. Alright, so we have, I'm going to sleeve all these up. I could care less about them. They need to all get sleeved. Alright, so we have a Rhyhorn from Jungle. Another Rhyhorn from Jungle, and these all look minty, actually, except from up here. But not too bad, though. There's Rhyhorn. Another Rhyhorn. We got a Shadowless Sand True. I'll put those in sleeves in a bit. Uh, I'm more. Another Shadowless Sand True. And these are all, they look really nice. I don't know how much these are worth off the top of my head as uh, you know, if they were to get tens, I don't really think they will. Let me take a little, a little quick look. Um, this one I would have estimated as a nine. But I don't, I don't, oh jeez. I don't think, man, I don't even want to pick it up. Okay, there. Um, but yeah, these are actually pretty good. Pretty good cards. Yeah, these are pretty good. Here's the Diglett. Shadowless Diglett. I think I bought these for 10 bucks. Free shipping, too. Oh, the Diglett has a little... Little whitening up there, but not, otherwise not too bad. And then, there's the back of that one. Not too, too, too bad, but... Hey. These are going to be harder and harder and harder to come by. I think, um, I've been watching a lot of... YouTube about Pokemon, um, and I think it was uh, Z and G Emporium, I believe, a guy I follow um, who does great at gym. He um, he he like looks at eBay, you know, eBay prices and all that good stuff. And uh, the last, I don't know if it was first. I think it was. I'm not sure if it was unlimited. Or just regular base set or shadowless or whatever it was, but it sold for $198,000. 198k. And then that, um, I think his name is, what's his name? Paul something, I can't remember. It's like a YouTuber, boxer, whatever. Uh, he, he just flat out said he's, he spent 60 grand on Pokemon cards. So the, this hobby is going to start getting more and more expensive, and look at that. Bulbasaur, Air 2, Link Length. Um, let me get these out. I don't know why you, why you put tape on this. Okay. Alright, I think... I got most of the tape out. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Um, let's check these out. I want to look at these. I think these were the Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, I believe. Uh, I think the Squirtle wasn't um, shadowless. So here's this one. Here's the Charmander. There's a uh, unlimited Squirtle, and then we have a Jungle Pikachu. All right, so I want to take a look at this first. And it is bigger from left to right. So and yeah, just from left to right. So as long as it's. Eh. Not too, too bad. But yeah, this uh, this guy, I was asking him about these, and then he kept hitting me up with, 
hey man what else do you want and this was really late at night like extremely late he kept uh asking me like hey man what do you want what do you want i think he had a first edition hollow um or was it first edition hollow jungle flareon i believe for sale i think it was like 65 bucks but i i did not want to spend so much i mean the I think these were like eight, and these two were ten pop. Oh, this is the one I really care about the most. But yeah, right now would be the perfect time to start collecting these. Get these graded. Oh man, you're looking at yourself some 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 good money for some Christmas presents. All right, let's put these away. I'm gonna put these up here for now. And we're going to focus on this. On to the main opening. Alrighty. Let's go to this here. Okay. I haven't opened... I opened up like maybe one pack of tag team and that's about it so far. I think there's tag team in here. Now this... This here. This here. Um, I think a lightly played version is going for like 12 bucks. Um, near mint going, f um, I think, I think it was graded. I think it goes for about a, a hundred or 150 if I can remember correctly. All right. All right. So we have the Mewtwo trying to be very careful with that. I have two extra boxes, but Still, I want to be careful with that. I'll leave that up there. Take care of that later. This is uh, heavy duty metal. All right, on to the packs. I'll move that down here for now. All right, we have uh, Cosmic Eclipse, uh, Lost Thunder, Celestial Storm. There's actually a nice Rayquaza out of that one, and then Evolution. So not too bad. Um, I'm going to start off with this. Um, haven't opened up any of these yet. Uh, but there is a nice um, Hyper Rare Rayquaza in here. Very nice. Uh, it, and it's, it, it is up there with the price as well too. It is up there on price too. There's that. I don't know the card trick for this one. I'm just going to assume three from the... Uh, one, two, three, four, four from the back. Okay, we got it right. So we have a water energy. Sky power. Oh, sorry about that. Ray Ray's home. Sorry about that. Uh, Dunsparce, uh, Tate and Lisa. Lotad, C-Dot, Skitty, and the Lowen, Ratata, uh, Torchic, Friend Ball. And then uh, explode. Okay, that was first pack of that. Um, I do want to open up some more of those. All right. Um, I'll go with. We'll save evolutions for last. We'll go with Lost Thunder. I think on Lost Thunder, there is a fort I actually want to get. Um, I would like to get it graded. I mean, I might as well just buy it at this point because it wasn't that expensive last I checked it was like 20 30 bucks but uh, I want to get it and uh, the card is uh, named Mina and then uh, there's a reason why I want to get it um, I want to get it for my younger sister one two three four because she's the artist in the family so uh, we got a water energy we got a go goat moo moo milk Fairy Charm, oops, Spinneract, Nankata, Blitzel, Slowpoke, what the heck is he doing? Hey man, this ain't, uh, Pokemon Gold where you, where you eat po Slowpoke Toes, Roxish, uh, Chansey, and then we got a Jump Luff Hollow. Alright. Put these over here on top of this. All right, two more packs to go. We uh, what did Cosmic Eclipse next? I think the f uh, the character card of Pikachu. 
think it's running, uh, I think people are paying about 100 for it, I believe. I'm going to have to start putting up pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's the code. Oh, there we go. There's the code. One, two, three, four. We have a fire energy. Uh, great catcher. Uh, Dragon MZ. Dust clops. Nose pass. Snow runt. Rock rough. Deerling. I see something shiny in the back. Teddy Ursa. Ooh, go Wade. Okay. And then. Oh, nice. Mega Luponin. Jigglypuff. Nice, nice, nice. Don't have that yet. I have a delay though. Let me stick that in the sleeve. All right. There's that. Oops. All right, last one. I would like to pull the Zard. I'm sure everybody would love to pull the Zard out of this. I think the last one sold for, I think it was like three Gs. $3,000 for the Charizard in here. A PSA 10. One. Oh, I don't even know the trick for this one. All right, we have a Tangela. Poliwag, Seal, Magikarp, Lightning Energy, Magikarp as a reverse, nice. Arcanine, I'm assuming that's the rare. Yes, it is. Okay, on to the next ones. We got a Brock Grit, Slowpoke, uh, Slowbro, Spirit Link, and Magmar. And that is it. So not too bad. Uh, did it manage to get a hyper rare? Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and stay safe out there.